Hello, it's me, Kat, with A Better Life with Kat. Today we are doing our cruising through the holidays. This cruising will give you a little peace in your life at the holidays, some control in your home at this uncontrollable time, and also allow you to love yourself during the hustle and bustle of the holidays. So this is a really great thing to do if your holidays are always just scattered, okay? So the third week of recap, uh, what happened last Monday was Mission 16, which was a 27 fling boogie. That just means you get rid of 27 things in your house. Um, the 17th mission on Tuesday was planning. So on that day, we we're looking at things like linens for your holiday meals. Do you use a tablecloth? Do you use t paper uh, or do you use um, cloth napkins? If you use cloth uh, a paper ta tablecloth, have you purchased it? Did you really have that one in there that you thought you have? Do you need to launder anything? How about a centerpiece for the table? So think about that. Uh, what, are, what are you gonna drink out of? What are you gonna eat off of? So let's talk about and think about what's happening at the table as far as service goes, okay? And that's what you're gonna think about today. Maybe put some things on your list to buy or clean. <laughs> um, then on Wednesday was mission number 18 which is a 15 minute fling for toys, or you could do a 27 fling boogie for toys. You could fling 27 things. Doesn't mean you have to throw them away, you can give them away, but get rid of 27 things. We're making room for the new, right? Uh, 19, mission 19 on Thursday was non-perishables for the holidays. So think about, and, and actually that was an errand day. So on your errand days, what non-perishables can you get right now? Do you need to buy box goods? Are there things in cans you need, some frozen things? So think about those kinds of things. If you walk down the aisles through the holiday areas, you'll see things like, I don't know, maybe you need maraschino cherries. Maybe you need uh, canned cranberry sauce. Maybe you like um, box dressing mix. Uh, maybe you just need to get the Pepperidge Farm breadcrumbs, seasoned breadcrumbs, or bread cubes, um, or cornbread, or whatever. So think about all the things that you might need for the holiday, and you can do double duty because, for example, pumpkin pie spice, that's gonna be good for both holidays if you serve pumpkin pie at both. Plus, you can make yourself some pumpkin smoothies and some wonderful things to drink in the meantime. Okay, that was Thursday. Friday, yesterday, was review your gift list. Review your gift list. Is it possible that you've changed who you originally had on there? Maybe your sister-in-law called and said, hey, we're not going to do gifts this year. I'm, I'm embarrassed to tell you, but honestly, I have so many people in the family. It's just too hard for us anymore. So we're just going to focus on our immediate family and not share gifts this year. Hope you don't mind. Or we're going to do $5 gifts or we're going to do a drawing or whatever. Or maybe it's you who needs to say that to your family. If that's so, then once you've done that, establish that, then rearrange your gifts gift list and see what kind of pressure that takes off of you. Or maybe you forgot about old Uncle Albert who's coming over from England or whatever, you know? So make sure you have everything you're gonna need as far as gifts go. Also, don't forget little gifts just to have little hostess type gifts to have in the home for the unexpected guests. So you have a little something to give them. All right, that's it for the week. That is 16 through 20. Uh, we only have 10 more to go, only two more weeks. That means in two weeks, we're going to be at the day after Thanksgiving. So that's how quickly Thanksgiving's coming up, and we will be all done for Thanksgiving and Christmas, okay? All right, that's it for now. Have a beautiful day. It's going to be a beautiful holiday, and I'm so proud of you. You're doing such a great job, and remember that you are beautiful. <laughs>